my mascot. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Pure Arts Batman 89 Cowl Replica. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. As you can see here, it's a huge box. It's a huge box. I have this thing pushed as far back as I can on my table, and it's still not all in frame. It is a, it's a huge box. It's a freaking huge box. But anyway, we got the big bat symbol right here, front and center. It says Batman right there. On this side, we have Batman. On the back, we have little bat symbol. On this side, Batman. The bat symbol's on the top of the box as well. And that's pretty, pretty much it. Basic, simple packaging. But it gets the job done. And that is basically it for the packaging. I'm not going to throw this. It's going to hurt something. I'm going to hurt myself. No, we're just going to we're, we're just going to move on. So now we're going to break down everything that's in the box. We're pretty much going to start from the bottom and work our way up. So the first thing we get is, uh, I guess this is our certificate of authenticity. It is a... Uh, piece of metal here and it says batman one to one cal replica big batman symbol right there batman it is a limited edition of 1989 clever i got number 1227 you got your logo all your copyright stuff and yes your um metal certificate of authenticity you do get you do get a little uh, acrylic stand here so you can take it and just plop it down you can display that proudly. It's a thing you can do if you want to do it. So now let's take a look at the stand that the cowl will sit on when you have it on display. And this is a gorgeous piece on its own. It is heavy. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's it's definitely, it's solid. It is heavy. Um, let's take a look at the bottom here. You can see the Batman symbol, logo, Batman, one-to-one, Cal replica. Again, the edition number, all your legal mumbo-jumbo. Of course, you have some nice little pads there. Let's keep everything nice and protected. We can see nice bat symbol right up front. And some lovely detailing here going around, little vents and whatnot making it look like it's coming straight out of the Gotham City from the 1989 movie. Wonderfully done. You can even see it's got some like weathering going on in here. A fantastic looking piece. It's right there, looking so good, so, so good. Now you have this section right here. This is what the cowl will sit on to keep it elevated, keep it supported, but a fantastic piece. We'll give you the turnaround here. And yeah, very, very well done piece here. You also get this lovely bat emblem, which is part of the cowl itself. And I've always loved this version of the bat symbol. I think that always looked really cool. And I'm sad they only used this in the one movie. But lovely, nice, bright, vibrant yellow. Nothing on the back. Again, this is a nice, solid piece. Again, I don't know what this is made out of, but it's definitely nice and solid nonetheless. But yeah, nice little piece right there on its own. And here we have the cowl itself, and this is an impressive piece. Now, this is one-to-one -one scale, so this is the exact same size as the one that Michael Keaton wore in the movie. And um, yeah, it is absolutely fantastic um, again i'm not sure what it's made out of it is made of a material that is you know it, it it has some bend to it it has some give to it it's not it's it doesn't feel like it's rubber it's definitely not it's not stretchy um but it does have it has some give to it but oh no a very very lovely cowl here let's get in close here so we can try to take a look at some of these details here now one thing i love about this cowl I never noticed this. As you can see, the top of the head, top of the head here is pretty smooth. And then as you go down the cowl, you start to go into this texturing. And I don't know how well it comes across on camera, but it's really nicely done. When you come down to the shoulder piece, you can really see that texturing going on in there. And it is a lovely, lovely piece. Again, this does have some weight to it as well. But you can see that kind of musculature detailing in there as well as so making my camera go crazy, <laughs> but 
So nice. And again, you know, these pieces are, you know, it's flexible, but it's not really stretchy. So this is not something you can wear. And yes, I did. I, I tried. I tried to put it on. You can't put it on. It's just, it's not stretchy enough to squeeze your head in there. And if you could, I don't think you'd be able to get it out, honestly. But let's take a look at the back of the cowl here again. Love the texturing on this. Looks really good. And again, that detailing there, just kind of giving it the look of, you know, musculature going on there. And all in all, a fantastic, fantastic piece. And we'll take a closer look at the uh, at the ears here. Um, again, they, they have some some flex to them, but they feel for the most part pretty solid. So, yeah, again, lovely work here. Lovely detail, lovely craftsmanship here. And again, this is apparently, you know, taken from an actual 3D scan of the screen used prop. So this should be uh, pretty much 100% accurate. I don't know. I'm sure those with the more, uh, the more trained eye might still find some inaccuracies, but I mean, it, it looks the part. It looks the part to me anyway. Now, as far as putting it all together, it's just a simple case of uh, just taking the cowl and just dropping it right over the stand like that now if you want you can just have the base as is but if you want to incorporate this emblem onto it you can do so they give you this big old magnet here just sticks to the back and then it'll stick right to the center of this bat emblem and you just get it lined up and there you have the full effect and there you have the cowl on display on the base, and it looks absolutely fantastic. Now, if you want some measurements uh, to the very top of his ears, this comes in at two feet tall. And from end to end, we're looking at about, about 20 inches wide. So yeah, this will take up a good amount of space on the shelf, but man, what a display piece it is. So uh, there you go. So there you have the Batman 89 cowl replica, and um, yeah, this is a fantastic piece, absolutely fantastic, I could not be happier with it. Just superb craftsmanship here, superb quality, I mean, this is just, I, I mean, I have nothing to complain about, absolutely nothing to complain about. Except maybe that I can't wear it, but you know, it's fine, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> But if you're a fan of the 89 Batman movie, as I am, I think this is a no-brainer. Now, granted, this is an expensive piece. It's an investment. But as far as I'm concerned, worth every cent. I am so happy that I have this. So there you go. Now, you can find this at BigBadToyStore.com. As always, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love, Peace, Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Pure Arts Batman 89 Cowl Replica. And this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face.